Hi there everybody, I am Red from the Senmo Robots crew, and welcome back to Space Engineers. So today is a new Spotlight episode I am running out today. I've uh, been going through the workshop, checking out some new ships, seeing what's out there. I have a few on my list, but today I'm going to preview one that actually caught my eye because of so many different attributes that it has that a lot of other ships are just... Haven't quite explored yet, not that they haven't done it, but haven't explored that kind of concept, and it just really is just a fascinating looking ship in the way it is. Um, I can't wait to show it off, and so without further ado, I will proceed with today's spotlight. Woo! Alright, so this is the new ship I'm showcasing today. This is called the Leviathan from Jura 7, and just looking at it visually, this has a lot of aspects that holy crap makes it just a fascinating looking ship the lighting i don't know it doesn't do it enough justice but the way they added these contours and this curves and everything to kind of get it this nice like rounded shape overall is i don't know man it's real awe-inspiring because it just has this fantastic look to it i really love these uh these spacers on the outside these uh, on the engines and everything like that it gives it to me it gives it a real protoss feel for me and i you know i'm a huge starcraft fan i'm a huge uh protoss in particular i love the protoss they are my favorite race but moving on this is like i said this is leviathan and it's very well built um like i said the design aspects of it alone are enough oh there's a little camera right there um, it does have some defensive capabilities. It has eight missile launchers on top and eight on the bottom. It's perfectly mirrored when it comes to that. Um, design, again, is mirrored from top to bottom. So it looks pretty good. It has these uh, laser communicators on the top and on the bottom. So there's always ability to communicate with ships and other people through throughout the galaxy as you go. Uh, it's defended enough that it can protect itself, but it's kind of more like a carrier, too. Um, these ports actually... More particularly, the front port, which we will get into, is but the car carries the carriers. This actually has another interesting aspect to it. We'll get into that in a second. I just want to do a little bit more on the outside. Um, as you can see here on the top, this is actually where the bridge is. This is a nice, fancy-looking bridge and everything. We'll get more detailed as we go around. Um, when you cut down to the bottom, though, it's not mirrored. You can see that there's actually an oxygen farm down here. Oh, and there goes everything darkening up. Yeah, and so it has the oxygen... Uh, farms right here which actually gather up the oxygen and can actually be transported into new ships you can see it has uh, merge blocks right here that connect to the bottom and it has a it has a connector port there and a connector port there so that the oxygen and materials can be transferred no problem uh, like I said this is the bottom of the ship where it has the eight rocket launchers as well and it has yeah it's got some nice lighting it's got a massive amount of thrusters uh this definitely because of the way it's currently designed would definitely not make it onto planets successfully this would have some serious issues on planets uh but it's really uh, it's so cool this is definitely a orbital ship this hangs out in orbit around something um but now we're going to get into the interior of the ship so let's take a look i'll jump back to my body so this is actually uh, the first bay. This is the one right in the front. You can see the two large uh, thrusters right there. But as you can see, this is actually where you would store smaller craft, like uh, small attack craft or support, maybe a welder or grinder ships. This is where they would uh, jump in, connect up, and drop their supplies off. Or if like an engineer needs to come up and grab something, they can go directly in the cargo container, take a look what's in here, grab some stuff, walk off. It's a very nice aesthetic. It's very, very cool. So you got the repair welders right there. This is meant for bringing in ships, fixing them up, sending them back out. This is a nice exploratory cruiser. I really like the feel. I like the aspect of like the glowing white. Uh, really adds a nice, nice feel. Um, it's really good. It was a really good job on their part by making all the blocks white. You know, save for a few that were like mainly like the docking ports, which is fantastic. Uh, there is a dividing mark between the two. So like, it's say someone's coming in to. Oh, see, everything gets real dark if I don't have my lights on. Uh, but if you have ships coming in through the front port, you can actually close this if you look at it. So this will close that open that close ha hangar A. Um, I have noticed with the recent patch that this has made uh, these doors really, like, choppy. So maybe in the next patch they'll fix some things like that. Um, we'll, we'll definitely People will definitely talk about that and get that involved in them. Um, one thing I have noticed is this ship is very uh, closed off. So there are no buttons on the outside. There's nothing uh, to let you in and out of certain areas. Like, we can go down here. Oh, this is new. We'll explore that in a bit. Um, but yeah, like, so there's different buttons here. Uh, that control panel actually closed that door and this door, so opening and closing. This is more of the, like, large ship holding 
compartment. Probably not just a large ship. I mean, those doors are actually a little bit... Those are just about the same. Uh, probably more for, like, cargo and other items that need to be contained in here. Maybe uh, land vehicles that get stuck in here or something like that. Uh, it doesn't have the quite right ramps, but you could do some... You could do some reimagining, get some stuff done. Um, just the same. If you look at these sides here, both on... Uh, it's got the hangar doors... This locks gears, so this would lock and unlock. That has the same button over there. Uh, there's control panels on both sides, you know, like open doors, do the uh, lock those things in. So it's very cool. It's very, very interesting. Uh, this definitely was got some uh, updates with the newest patch, too, because you can see there's the slider doors over there. I did a patch that I will, you know, put a link to in the end of this video uh, in the most recent update. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to explore this area because this is what caught my interest the most to start with and so right down here this is this nice little hidden compartment area this looks like this is probably like a maintenance bay or something like that it's very it's very open this whole this whole ship by the way is completely vanilla there are no armored ramps or anything like that nothing crazy um it's all vanilla which is really really cool really really exciting this is like the belly of the ship so this is yeah this is clearly a maintenance zone where you would come in and you would uh, fix things up as you needed to. See, so it'll come up into... Yeah, see, so it comes up here. So people can come in, fix the bottom of ships, or come in and, like, repair the bottom here. Very, very cool. Very interesting. Does this have two ways? It does. So, yeah, there's two ramps all the way up. It, it lets you through all of those little compartments and everything, which is pretty damn exciting. That's actually really well thought out because it's like a floor on top of a floor. All right, let's see if I can move it along faster. So we're going to come back up. We're going to come back to where we were. Good use of the ramps, considering normal ramps would not fit in there. That was a solid choice. I still like this white. This, like, look at this Look at this architecture right here. This is so cool. That definitely gives me, like, I don't know, a very alien feel because it's all, like, sharp edges with, like, the curves. And it's, like, I don't know. It's not even just an alien. It's, like, a religious feel. It's kind of crazy. I feel like they're, like, worshipping something here. I don't know. Uh, let's open this door. Everything's a little choppy. Oh, come on. Okay. So you gotta use jetpacks there. That's probably the only thing that's a weird design, but, you know, it kind of adds to the whole flow. Alright, so there's some batteries in here. We can see another door. Leads into... What is this? Oh, it leads further down. So we'll, we'll save that for a little bit. Um, so yeah, that, lead, that door leads in here, which leads up. Let's go on up. I think this will take us to that bridge. Uh, here's some maintenance. Here's another listing uh refinery cargo room ship block status no damage blocks oh so it has it has um a script that tells you what is what what is working what's damaged what isn't so this is the cargo cargo area and refinery room so that this ship can process uh or and other things that it picks up from planets that the other ships will go pick up um or if it's trading or anything like that you can see oxygen tanks are completely full there's no oxygen going right now come on come on door little too close to the door, but everything... Oh, they have a lot of battery power on here. So he has 48 megawatts, which is pretty good. That's a decent amount of battery power. So you have a lot of backup resources that can constantly be on. Like, you can stagger their charges and everything. Let's... Come on, hit that button. Uh, sometimes this not having a cursor thing makes it hard. Oh, so it's another maintenance corridor. This is good. Good. In case you need to fix something, you need to get involved in there. Uh, I would hope that's mirrored on both sides, I would imagine. Come on. And there we go. Oh, God, I, I closed the door. So this looks like uh, empty quarters, so you could probably use this as, like, a med bay or something like that. I think he has a regular med bay, or Jura has a med bay. Oh, so these are some empty rooms you can fill with, like, a mess hall. You could uh, turn them into some sort of observations room or science labs. Uh, not observation, because there's nothing to look at. But science labs, for sure, this would definitely probably be a good place to hide them. Or so ammunition stores, things like that. That would be interesting. Uh, let's see. So if we go back down, this actually does not take us to the command. Hmm. Hmm. So this is actually the next big room. We're going to go in here. And this is, oh, this is clearly the reactor room, the, yeah, jump drive area. Oh, this is a big space. This is nice. This is big and empty. So you can see, like, panels getting set up in here, like, putting, like, computers around. Really getting that feel for, um, 
the the like overall multiplayer feel where people are jumping in and they're actually helping like monitor the ship and everything god there's so many doors there's so many ways to go through there's another large engine but we're gonna go up here and i can only i have a feeling this is what i've been looking for this is the command bridge yeah it's got all these twists and turns and all these interesting runs oh man this is some far upstairs did i really go that far down in the ship i apparently i did yes so here we are up to the bridge this is nice and sleek this is very good looking i'm gonna turn my flashlights off oh yeah this is a very nice looking ship you can see how cool everything is there's the oxygen right there apparently there's some sort of leak somewhere this is pretty exciting i i like the way this looks so i mean here's the here's the command chair so let's take a seat so yeah and this is what it looks like you know staring at everything looking out from the front uh i mean there's i'm sure there's plenty of buttons oh yeah you can see all the buttons there at the bottom which will let you hit insert things on and off that's really cool this is a really solid solid ship i really like the way this turn this this person turned this ship out jura you did a fantastic job with the look and everything uh let's go through one more we're going to go back down, and we're going to cut through a couple of those doors, check out what's down below. I think it'll probably be, like, maintenance areas and whatnot. Oh, got down faster than we got up. It was that anticipation. Whew. All right. So here's some. Here's another door. This looks like a pretty small room. Yeah, this is like, oh, it's a projector room with some seats around it. Oh, it might be, like, kind of like an entertainment thing. Here's a med bay to, like, hide out in uh interesting yeah kind of a you know you set up some sort of image that everyone can look at and enjoy that's pretty exciting uh that's kind of thinking ahead into the sense of like oh like people are gonna want to sit down and have some sort of entertainment by looking at ships or looking at diagrams or maybe it's like a war room or it could be anything like that here's just like a back maintenance room this is like completely empty but now you can fix these engines you can kind of change things you can fill this in too I'll probably make this like a uh like uh like the captain's quarters like hangs out all the way in the back so you know if you get hit you're not going to be able to uh like captain will still be alive if he's in his quarters things like that that's pretty cool that's a good idea uh it, it's nice that he did leave all of this empty space because it leaves a lot to the player to create so if someone make uses this because this is survival ready as far as i know and it has hydrogen tanks as well interesting so you can fuel up hydrogen ships which makes it even sweeter because if you fuel up a hydrogen ship you can send it off to a planet it can get off bring back your resources great idea fantastic i wonder i hope he has another ship that has an attachment to this i will do some research and i will find out um oh look cryopods so you can actually have a crew like in sleep mode on the way to wherever your destination is before they jump out there's a lot of cryopods so that's six just on this side so far if it's mirrored, that means there's six more on the other side. Oh, this is supposed to look like little beds or something like that. That's cute. Oxygen. Oxygen is good in here. Uh, you can put messages here. You know, people who are asleep or something like that. They can check that out. I'm going to close that back up. I'm going to open this up. Oh, no. Wow. This is a big empty room. And it has a remote block. Very cool. So... I mean, at the end of the day, it could pilot itself if it really needed to. You need to put it on autopilot. It needs to just walk, like, sink through and everything. That's very cool. Um, but I think that is, yeah, I think that's everything for this bad boy. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't have its own weapons to shoot off. So this is actually where I will probably end the spotlight. But I hope you really enjoyed this tour. I hope I covered everything, hit every door as many times that, you know, that wasn't mirrored such as this is. This thing has a lot of gyroscopes. Holy great googly moogly. Um, but it's a very fascinating ship, and I really like the way it looks. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a jump, and I'm going to see what it looks like when it not only jumps, but what it looks like when it uh, actually moves. So we're going to move it around, and then we're going to have it jump. So once I get up to the command center, we will start that. All right, everybody. So now we're back to actually flying the ship itself. I am in the cockpit, as you can see. Um, this ship, as I, as I expected, even though it has quite a few gyroscopes, um, it has about 32. It does have, I, I mean, it says, as you expect from a large ship like this, it, it doesn't exactly move the fastest, but it's not meant to rotate quickly. It's meant to, it's meant to be on a, like a steady course and kind of like take its time and get somewhere and not exactly hit full speed regularly, but to kind of explore the galaxy, which is a really cool idea. Um, so as you can see, it actually does have some time to accelerate. Um, it does have quite a few large thrusters, but they're not 
powerful enough to like push it from like zero to 60 meters in a second. Um, it does take some time to move forward to get its momentum going. But once it does, it does have a steady cruise speed. It does look like it moves very fluently, uh, fluidly, really. Um, it's, it's not, again, it's got a nice look to it. It's really awesome. I really just, ah, just looking at it, like, rotating around this thing is just beautiful, especially with the lighting. God, this guy did such a, such a solid job. Let's take a look. Yes, as you can see, oh, it looks so good. I really like this. I really, really enjoy the look of this ship. He did such a good job, and so, like, it's such a simple design, too, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I turned the dampeners off so you can see that, see how it looks. I mean, it's just still kind of flying through space, doing its thing. Um, now let's see. What I'm going to do is check out what's that. That's turrets, reactors, batteries. So there's the cameras you can see from every side. Uh, does it have a control two? Nope. Oh, see, so there it is. So there's the jump drives. So let's see what this bad boy looks like. Yes. So it's powering up, getting ready to go. Three, two, one. Woo. Nice, beautiful jump. It looks good, too, jumping in and out. Ah, oh, this is such a cool ship. Yeah, but I wanted to thank you all for joining me on this one. I hope you all enjoyed this review, this spotlight of this beautiful, beautiful ship. Uh, it is the Leviathan from Jura 7. I will put a link into a description about their... Uh, about their ship, about the workshop that they work on, everything like that. But as always, guys, thank you for watching it today. I am Red from the Sigma Robots crew. If you like today's video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up so that I can, you know, know to make more, have some more ships thrown out for you, guys, get some more regular videos out. Um, if you really like today's video, if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. Always helps to um, see more people support uh, support me in this. It's always fun to do ships like this and check this out and just make videos about this. Um, other than that, if you want to see something different, if you have a comment about something I said, something I did wrong, go ahead and throw it in the bottom. Give me a comment below. It helps me learn. helps me learn new things. Plus, I like responding to you guys. Even though I don't get to it right away, I love being able to comment back and actually have a conversation with someone. But as always, guys, remember who you are and what you are. Don't go causing any trouble out there in that crazy, crazy universe. And always remember... Protests are the best. Doesn't matter what faction you go for. If you play Terran, you play Zerg. Uh, you know, you do great. I'm sure you guys have fun. Protoss will always be.